Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This video is my preview for Harrogate Town vs Tramway Rovers on the 3rd of November in the CNG Stadium, 7 o'clock kickoff. So just before I talk about that, I'm going to be talking about what's been going on with Tramway and Tramway Rovers and Harrogate and what happened at the weekend and I'm going to do my pred prediction on my pre on my uh, pred predictions on the line up for Tommy Rovers so I'm going to start off what happened on Saturday for both teams Howard Town got beat 2-1 by Newport County at away and um uh, someone called Will for um someone called Will for Howard Town scored I'm not too sure on the second inning but yeah and uh, yeah, I think Aaron Martin got the assist. Or it was Jack Muldoon. I think it was Jack Muldoon that got the assist. So yeah, they got beat 2-1. And Tramway Rovers got beat 1-0. But the main thing about Tramway Rovers that they lost 1-0 by Morgan. And lost by a penalty because they scored the penalty. And for so on... Um, Mike Jackson got sacked on Saturday after the game, obviously because their performance weren't good, they weren't up to standard, and Tramway Rovers need to fight a lot better and try and score goal, score more goals than the other, other opposite team, and we'll win games. But obviously with Mike Jackson, he lost five games, three draws and two wins, and the two wins were against... Southend and Scunthorpe were both two nils, but yeah, um, personally I think it was the right decision to sack him because we weren't weren't getting anywhere, and obviously we were seventeenth, eighteenth in the division, and it's not good for Tramway, for Tramway Rovers for being a big club. It does not, they do not, they they basically should not be where they are now. Personally, we should be in League One, obviously because what happened with the. PPG, but we got to move on and, and forget about it because obviously what happens. Personally, it was a, it's bullshit from what happened, but yeah. But going from that, um, Mike Jackson has left Tramia on Saturday because we didn't win game enough games to keep him. And obviously, personally, I think it was the best time to get rid of him. But personally, I think they should have got rid of him before South End, but. We didn't because we won the game as well. But I thought last Tuesday when we got beat 4 0 by Crawley, we should have done something about it then. But I think it would have been a lot awkward, obviously, coming all out all the way from Crawley back to Tramier on the coach for four hours. So I, th I, didn't, I think they made the right decision to sack him uh, today, um, on Saturday. So, yeah, but so going from that, um, Tramway Rovers are looking for a new manager. So, the managers that I would love is Danny Danny Cowley, which I think he would do fantastic for Tramway, obviously, because him and his brother, Danny, Danny Cowley, and I can't remember his brother's name, um, Nigel Atkins, I think he would be a good fit. Obviously, he used to be a, he used to play, uh, manage Southampton and Hull, and I think he'd done another team which I can't remember who it was, but and the other one would be Paul Cook. I think Paul Cook would be a great one, obviously because he he was at Wigan and obviously he left Wigan. He didn't get sad. He just left because of obviously what happened with the Wigan's financial reasons. Obviously, them going to League One. But personally, yeah, I think that would be a great fit if we get one of them in. Uh, I, and personally, I think we can fight to try and get top 10 for this season, which I'm hoping for. Top 10, as long as we get top 10, I'll be ha very happy. I'll be a very happy Tramway fan at the end of the season. So, going from that, um, Tramway Rovers need to work a lot harder. And obviously, depending who is going to take over, is... Um, Parky going to take over to be the um, interim manager with Ian Dawes or is Ian Dawes gone with Jacko, which we don't know yet, so we could find out earlier in the week. 
So what will happen? Personally, I think he should go as well because I don't think he he knew much about Tommy. And obviously, I think he's from Liverpool. I think he's from Liverpool, but I didn't think he was good enough because I I didn't think he worked well with Jacko. I just thought it was a. I think that was the most stupidest mistake getting Jacko in. But obviously, I'm glad to see Jacko go because he's he used to play for Tommy. And but yeah, and he was a defender, but. We can't defend him because of the results were just not going our way. So I'm going to be saying more about these uh, these guys now, just about the game on Tuesday. I think Tommy Rovers' uh, team would be, I think, would be um, Scott Davis in goal. As long as he has to do a lot better, obviously, because he wasn't the best on Saturday. He really needs to step up. So I'm going for a different formation. I'm going to go for a 3-1-4-2. And my prediction. So we're having Scott Davis in goal. With Peter Clark, Manny Montfey and Sid Nelson in defence. So with three at the back. With Spearing as a CDM. Four midfielders with Kieran Morris, Ollie, uh, Ollie Banks. Paul Lewis and Corey Blackett-Taylor. Obviously, Corey Blackett-Taylor's only made two, two substitution appearances because, obviously, his injury, that he was out for so long. So, it's good to see him back, but I think he should start on on Tuesday against Hamgit with the strikers with uh, James Vaughan and, and Sam Smith. So, I'm going to say my prediction. I think it's going to be a tough game. But I think we can. I think we can just win it because I think we need. We deserve a win from somewhere, and I think we can get it. So I'm going to say Harrogate Town one, Tramway Rivers two. Goals from. I'm going to say, Ollie Banks, and I'm going to say Corey Blackett Taylor because I think Corey Blackett Taylor will be phenomenal this season. Obviously, with this pace. And you think his crosses are good as well. So let's see if that happens. And let's just see if we can win. And obviously it'll be our first away win of this season. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday night. After me for doing my reaction. So will I be a happy guy? I really hope I am. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. So for next time I'll see you guys in a bit. And one thing to say. Sue, I am a. Come on, you whites.